In this video I want to show how one can easily derive the formula for the surface area of a sphere without using derivatives without using integrals and without knowing what the formula is for the volume of the sphere. The method runs somewhat along the lines of the classical way of deriving the formula for the area of a circular disk. Let's start with the circular disk. I'm splitting this into sectors, maybe thousands, maybe millions, ad infinitum. So, could I possibly turn this into something that I can easily compute the area of, and that's easy to do. First step is to place all of these sectors in a row, like this. Obviously, I have too few in here. Let's stay with that. Okay, if I take twice of that, that's easy. Same thing as before. And I add the same geometric shape, but from the other side, like that. So now I have twice the original area. The nice thing is that I can easily say what the limit of this geometric shape is. As the number of sectors tends to infinity, it's going to become a rectangle. The height of that rectangle is r, the radius. Here we have the radius, here we have the radius, this is the radius. So the height is going to become the radius and the width is going to become the circumference. This taken together gets flattened out in the limit and eventually it's simply the circumference of that circle and by definition of pi this is 2 pi r pi times the diameter of that circle so this rectangle has an area of 2 pi r square which means the original shape has half of that area 2 pi r squared divided by 2, and that's what everybody knows, pi r squared. So how could I determine the surface area of the sphere by slicing? Imagine this is my sphere. It has a radius of r. I'm cutting it open now from the north pole to the south pole, like that. And I'm slicing it perpendicular to that direction, like that. So the surface area of the sphere is the same as the area of this somewhat peculiar shape. The cut line, this red line, is half of the circumference. So this is a length of pi r. Along the equator, we have a full circle around the sphere, which makes for 2 pi r. Like that. So in total, our shape looks like this. of course, with those slices in place. The 
Now we have to compute the sum of the individual areas of these slices. Let's look at a single one. Say this one. Of course, the computation that I'm doing here is just approximate. It's going to be exact in the limit. Right now it's only approximate. Let's say all of these slices have the same height. Let's call that h. Each slice will be taken at a different radius. This red one, for instance, may be this one. So this may look like this on the sphere. And the radius that I'm interested in is that one. Let's call that Ri. Then the circumference would be 2 pi Ri. This would be 2 pi Ri. So the total area would be the sum of all individual areas. And the individual area would be 2 pi ri times h. 2 pi ri times h. We can pull the 2 pi out of the sum, which leaves us with 2 pi sum of ri times h. This can now be simplified. Namely, look at the geometry inside the sphere. That's the center. This, this specific slice maybe sits here. So this would be H. This is R, the radius of the sphere. This is Ri. The specific radius of the slice. Let's call this piece AI. And now look at those two triangles you see here. These triangles are similar. Both are right triangles. And this angle equals that angle. By similarity, we have that Ri divided by R is the same as Ai divided by H. And if you multiply by R and by H, you find that Rih must be the same as Rai. This proves to be very handy here. So now we have that the surface area of the sphere is 2 pi. And now it's the sum of Rai. Let's pull the R out of that sum. And we have this is 2 pi r, the sum of all ai. So what's that going to be, the sum of all ai? This was a single ai. The next would be here, the next would be here, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. If you sum all of these, the sum must be the diameter of the sphere, which is 2r. This sum has to be 2r, which means now we have 2 pi r times 2r, which is 4 pi r square, period.